Hello, Les Connard with the Porta Pin. One of my clients who's a precaster saw our cube tray and said, I think I'd like a big dog to be a cube tray. Can you do something about that? And uh, in the conversation, we came up with putting some sheets of plastic in them. So you come look at this, it's really cool. What happens with these sheets of plastic? It's, it's the same thing we did as a kid. It's just cut so it, it angles down. They're 3 8 inch thick. Um, we found them on the internet for like a hundred bucks. Uh, all it is is just a big sheet. We cut it out and trimmed it to the right size. It fits in the corners. So when he washes out his mixer, he's gonna just bring it in here. We're gonna get four sections, so we're gonna try that. Um, but uh, once it turns over, I've already tried it with a big, I cut a lid that I had and stuck it in concrete, turned it over, just split like he thought it would. So uh, I think that's very exciting. This is, um, this is some additions that we've done to the porta pit that I wanted to show you while we're here. These are all now welded together. So the entire, the entire porta pit is a cage. And here on the side, this goes all the way underneath to support the bottom. And we took out the fork pockets and we just have a, you can get in there with any size forks inside if you come down here and see. It goes all the way across and then this supports the middle of it. And it runs all the way across two by two, 3 16th inch tubing. Uh, all the way across. Uh, very excited about that. We put this on too, so you can just grab it by a chain, flip it over, and drag it back. And so it comes all the way across. So, you know, constant, never ending improvement. Uh, this is the new um, idea. We're going to see how that works. I'll keep you informed, but I wanted to show it to you as we're sending it out. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Again, Les Connor with the Court.